the decision today was at the Puyallup tribe headquarters. A group of tribal members known as Water Warriors say they are pleasantly surprised by Wednesday's news. My reaction is almost disbelief of like an excitement. Is can this be real? Anna Bean is a Puyallup Tribal Council member and is one of many people within the tribe that have been fighting the construction of a liquefied natural gas plant in the Tacoma Tide Flats. Wednesday, Governor Inslee pulled his support of the LNG plant, saying the state must focus its efforts on fossil fuel free energy sources. He's put himself out there as the green governor. It's honor your word, walk your talk, and he's, he's doing that as of today. Inslee had originally said that the $300 million plant would help reduce greenhouse gas emissions as the state transitions to cleaner energy. But many say LNG isn't clean enough because it's still a fossil fuel. We're running out of time. You know, global warming's right on us. You know, clean water, where do you find that anymore? Puyallup Tribe Chairman Bill Stayroot has been vocal about the LNG facility for years. In 2017, the tribe filed a complaint because Puget Sound Energy is building the plant without all required permits. It's right next to the Puyallup Tribe's waterways. Um, you know, without our fish, who are, are the Puyallup members? And so if they go away, we go away. While today, these water warriors say the statement was strong, they hope the efforts don't stop there. This battle's not over. There's still things that we have to do and, and to protect our reservation, our fish, our air, our water. It's all tied in. Now we need to, the city of Tacoma to sign on, and it's time for Tacoma to wake up. Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News. But there will be job consequences. Members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 76, has been working on construction of the LNG facility. Business manager Tim O'Donnell talked to us on the phone today and said in part about the governor, the LNG plant fuel will be replacing bunker fuel. He threw us under the bus. We're not happy with him at all. He has no alternative plans of creating jobs. And PSE spokesman Andy Wappler says the science doesn't lie and the plant is the best thing to do for maritime transportation emissions. Moving to LNG for maritime transportation is cleaner for our air and better for our water because it avoids oil spills. So we'll continue through with the progress on the plant. It's a plus environmentally. According to the News Tribune, the LNG project is in its air permit phase of construction.